All right, today we're racing an enduro, but a different kind of enduro. This is a sprint enduro, but a little bit different than a regular one. So today we're at the Stillwater 500 in Oklahoma racing a Blackjack Series race. And man, were conditions a little bit different today. This place is pretty sandy. Oh man, right there you can see uh, with the dry slick and the trail being sandy, it just made for difficult traction and trying to gauge what you could really just push into and what was just going to give away. So right there in that corner, this is the first test of the day and I was not expecting to be able just to like push right through that rut and my front end just go wherever it wanted. The sand mixed with the red clay mixed with absolutely no moisture at all was definitely a combination that I'm not very used to but something different and made it interesting for sure. Like I was saying earlier, this is a sprint enduro and a different kind of sprint enduro. It has three tests and the tests range from about six and a half miles was one and then the other two were about eight and a half miles each. So we ride each test twice so it comes out to be the, about the same amount of trail length as a regular enduro or I should say riding length but then it ha only has the three tests kind of like a sprint enduro. Most sprint enduros only have two. So I know that probably made absolutely no sense, but if you wonder what a regular sprint enduro is, be sure to check that video out. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere for you. So this first test here, this one was a little bit faster than the other ones and quite a bit wider and flowier. Um, not really tight at all so coming into this one I was like man this one it's gonna be good you know get the blood flowing and stuff and you know, I don't know I, was, I think I was wrong on that one because this first test I got pumped up It was a lot sandier than I was expecting it to be coming into this race. And as you can see here, the, the trails were pretty wide for the most part. Most of it was, I'd say you could probably fit a four-wheeler through most of it if you really wanted to, but some of the spots you definitely wouldn't want to but just to gauge how wide it is. That's about how wide this first test was. And then the dust, that's the other thing. So as I went past that other rider there, you could see the dust was pretty thick behind him. And I think that was part of the game plan, honestly, for a lot of people is try to get out there when you're not going to be with a whole bunch of people. Try to get out there when you're going to be alone and have a clear track the entire time. I know I definitely tried to wait sometimes and then if I knew there was people in my class I tried to go behind them because I probably wouldn't catch them so just to kind of space this out a little bit better. Alright, so test one is done, and then I go back to the truck, take a little break, 
and then do that same test again and knock it out and now we're on to a separate test section so I believe this is the center loop and the other one was the west loop and then later on we'll have the east loop but we started out this one here and uh, we're gonna ride this one take a little break and then ride it again just like the other test and right off the bat again just that front end in the sand and dry couldn't get it to stick anywhere right off the bat here you can probably tell this one has a lot more turns and it's just a lot more twisty breaking up the flow so I think I definitely enjoyed this one a lot more than the first one. I felt like the first one I got, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe a little sketchy a little too many times, but this one the speeds were kept a little, a little closer to what I was comfortable going, and uh, especially in the dust, so I was, I was glad to slow down a little bit through this one. But by now, we're a little over 17 miles in because the first two tests were eight and a half miles each. So, or I should say the first test riding twice was a little over 17 miles total. So, starting to get used to the dirt and starting to get used to conditions, feeling like I can push now. Oh, coming up over that hill. Couldn't see really over that hill up until I got over it, so thought the trail went to the left there but it actually went a little bit to the right so just had to go around that little tree there and then back on to some old rough trail here this place had some moisture, I think it could definitely be a contender for one of my favorite tracks, but unfortunately it was pretty dry, so I don't know, it probably pushed it down a little ways on the list now. Speaking of that, let me know down in the comments what your guys' favorite track or favorite race is that you race. So most of this trail is broken in and is nice and already rough and rutted so um, going out here after the sea riders had been on this one already so going out here I knew I wanted to knock them out quick and try not to wait till the end of the day when the track may be a little bit rougher and more beat up. So coming down to what I think is getting to be the end of this test here and uh, as you can see a little bit more dust behind that rider there and got past him and onto this cool section it's, 
it's almost like a natural moto track so it was really fun to ride this but I'm gonna try to finish this test out strong Pine trees through this section were amazing. I mean, just nice, open, good turns through that last little section there. And man, you gotta love some pine trail. All right, on to the very last test of the day. So went back, took a break, rode that previous test again, and then came over to this trail, which is the East Trail, I believe. Don't hound me if I get that wrong, but came over here, rode this one time, and so now went back, took another break, and we're on our very last section of the day. This is my last time out for the day. I've done five other test times, I guess you could say, and we're on the last one of the day. Trying to just give her the berries through that section there. Just wide open and might as well use it if you can. We're sitting in second and a little bit off the lead, about I'd say 50 seconds at this point, and got a nice hard easy split line here. So luckily the first time through there I took the hard line and it wasn't too difficult, so I was able to make it out clean and keep that time to a minimum anyway though we're sitting second and just gonna try to gain some time on this last one here not sure if I can get the lead but you know anything's possible so just gonna try to keep pushing on At the beginning of the day, the very first test, I started out in third, and then after the first test, I was able to hold second up until now. So we're still sitting in second, and like I said, just trying to give it my all this last test. And this last one here, I'd say is about a mix of the other two. It's uh, got some flow to it, but it's also tighter than the first one was. It doesn't have those fire roads or jeep trail like the first one does. And I think that middle section was my favorite one of all. Probably just because I like the tight sections, but you know, that's just me. I think a lot of people like this section here. So since I already rode this one once, I know we're getting to be close to the end. So just going to try to put in that last little sprint, give it everything I got because we are done after this one. Alright, so coming in here to the end, I ended the day second. And it was a fun day playing in the dust. And, you know, obviously would have liked to won 
everybody likes to win, but we know that they're second and healthy and had some fun on our dirt bike. So it was a successful day, and uh, we're going to get on to the next week, and we'll uh, see you guys on Friday for another video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this race. All the good stuff. Share it with everybody you know. And we'll see you guys in the next video. I am dead tired now. After this race. So I'm going to go drink some water. Eat some food. And see you all in the next video.